everyone this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a small centerpiece. I bought these flowers from Lowe's. They are not real, they're faux flowers. I thought they were beautiful and I decided I want to make a small centerpiece. So let's get to crafting. Here I have my vase or my container to make my centerpiece in and then I've got some styrofoam. Now obviously this piece of styrofoam is too big to fit in here so I'm going to cut out a piece that's just big enough to fit snugly in the top section of my container. I start by scoring out my piece and then I'll just cut it out with a simple knife. These corners, I will cut them at an angle. So they'll go inside into my container, of course, it tapers in, so I want this to taper in as well. All right, it fits in nice and snug. And all I have to do now is maybe add a little bit of hot glue where it touches against the container just to secure it into my base. Next, I'm gonna secure some green moss or you can use Spanish moss. Obviously, you can skip this if you don't care to put this in there. I'm just breaking it up a little bit so that my stems can go through it. And to secure this onto my styrofoam, I'm going to be using greenery pins. to completely cover the styrofoam because your flowers will hide a lot of that but you do want to make sure you get it on the edges where it can be seen. I've gone ahead and unpackaged my flowers here and removed the uh, tape that was wrapping around them and they do have some dry florals within here some baby's breath which I'm going to separate. Now these flowers again they're not real they're faux flowers but they're made out of a like a little foam so they look like dry flowers and they're on these wooden dowel sticks here they don't seem to be like a very strong wood but they're nice and sturdy i'm going to treat these as if they were dry flowers so i'm going to handle them gently okay let's get our container so we can get started i'm looking at my flowers here and i'm going to go ahead and pick the bigger ones and it looks like there's about four the others seem to be either medium or small. All right, so I'm putting my container on the edge of the table so that I can hold my flower. The stem is really long and it has a place to go. And I decided that I want my height about right here. So that's it. So then I need to cut my stem long enough to go into the styrofoam. The styrofoam is right about right here. Obviously, I don't need it to go too far. So I'm going to cut it right about there. And I'm going to use my wire cutters and I would use these even on dry flowers. All right, so now that I've got that cut and I know it's going to go about so far in, I'm going to just kind of put my finger there, put a little bit of glue on the stem here on the bottom. Now this is a little wooden dowel and it's hard enough to push into the styrofoam. So let's put that right in the middle. Now if it was a dry floral, it would have a very delicate stem and the minute that you try to push it into the styrofoam, it'll break. So what you do is you want to grab a wooden skewer and I have this one right here, a little thin wooden skewer and you're going to want to use that to pull holes into your styrofoam where you want your delicate dry flower to go in. So, and also when you're pushing it in and you have a dry flower, don't hold it from up here or from here to push it in. Let's say this was, this was the whole length. Okay, we're gonna use this whole length. Rather than pushing it in like that, I'm gonna grab it from the bottom here. I wanna give it nice stability right here where I'm gonna hold it when I push it in. That way, uh, it will give it strength 
to push into the styrofoam and this won't break because if you hold it way up here and you're pushing this can break and break very easily and it'll be very annoying and then you won't have the length you want it because maybe you cut it or it broke off at a higher point that you wanted so hold it at the bottom where it's going to be sticking in as close to it as you can start pushing it in whatever you have to do just gently but again make your little hole with your little skewer first all right i'm going to continue with my arrangement i want my other flower just a tad lower give it enough length to push into the styrofoam i'm going to cut it and i'm actually going to use this flower to cut the other three at about the same okay so these flowers are going to be put around my container there's three, so it's an odd number. And I'm going to be inserting them at an angle into my container. I'm going to choose a spot right here. Start the little hole because remember, I'm treating these like if they were dry flowers. And I'm going to move the moss a little bit so I can see that. Some glue at the bottom part of my stem. Put my finger right about where I want it to touch the top of the styrofoam. Be careful because some of that hot glue might get on your finger. Just like that. You know what? I want it a bit more angled. So I'm going to pull it out really quick and insert it again. There. And then just move the moss back. I actually think it's sticking out a little too much. So let's push it in a little bit more. I'm going to push this one down a little bit more as well. I want to create a kind of a rounded dome here. Let's put some more glue on this one because the hole did get bigger. Just to keep it from falling in. All right, so now the other two, more or less, about right here, feeling for the hole. There we go. Push it in right there. Now one on this side. moss back into place okay so what I've established now here is how far out I want these to go this was still a little too far out let's push it in a little bit more this one maybe a little bit as well push it in a little more there we go so now every flower that I have from here on will fall within the height and the diameter of this. So everything will be within side here. So I need one, two, three, right here. And then we'll just go on from there. And I kind of know already more or less where I need to cut it. Now, if you wish to use the styrofoam in this container again, don't put, put too much hot glue on your stems. Just enough to keep it in place, but not too much where you can't pull it out later. Because if you try to pull it out, too much hot glue is in there, you're just going to break up the styrofoam, you might break your flour, so try to put very little. Alright, that's looking good. I'm just going to continue on filling in the rest of the spaces. All right, so I'm just looking at my arrangement. One last flower right here, and then I can fill it with other little flowers or some greenery. Now this is what my arrangement is looking like now, and if I think about it, I would have liked to push the flowers even further in so that they get more closer together instead of being so spaced out. But then I thought about it, I said, you know what, I have some greenery, and I have this little nest of little bird, or little bird with, um, some little eggs in there and I'm not sure what I put here but I think this is really cute this was in another arrangement that I made and then I've t took it apart uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that and then I've got this uh, kind of plastic greenery but again you could use dry florals you could use baby's breath to completely fill this out now this did have some baby's breath but it's very little so it's not gonna be enough to completely fill it out but it'll be nice to put it in there Okay, so I want this little nest to kind of be on the side, and this one flower is pretty much taking up space for where I want it, so I'm going to move that out and push this little bird nest right in there, 
And then if I have to move the other flowers to adjust things, I will. It's sticking out a little too far. And that's because of the uh, styrofoam that it has stuck on there from before. So you know what? I'm going to make a little sacrifice and just cut that off. Don't want to cut my fingers. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of glue. Let's take out this flower as well. There we go. Push it in. Push it in. And fix this flower so it's kind of on top of the nest there. I'm going to push this one further in because it's too far out. Right there. I'll put this flower back in there. I think it was this bigger one. Let's get that in there. You know what? It doesn't want to, so we're going to trim. Sometimes your arrangements uh, change direction as you're making them. Okay, this one, I'll put it down here. But let's cut it a little bit shorter. Okay, so now let's take our greenery, and I'm going to cut them at the longest points off of this bush here. All right, so what I'm going to do, and because of this particular greenery, I can push up the stems a little bit, but I can also cut above one of the branches here so that I can make two stems. And anything that's a little bit taller will go in here at the top, and then the rest will go on the sides and the bottom. So I'm going to use this one here to push in. There we go. Like that. Let me get another one. Push things up a little bit. I'm going to go back here and just fill in your spaces. When working with dry flowers, again, make your starter holes so that you don't crush other ones while you're pushing in. It's nice and easy to push it in. Let some of this greenery pop out a little bit higher. That looks really nice. I'm going to continue filling in with my greenery. piece of greenery here and um, I'm just going to trim it nice and short and just fill a couple of extra spots. This is basically a centerpiece but I kind of consider this the front because it does have some wording on my vase here and then I put my little nest here. Um, let's see, okay we have a little spot right here that could use some greenery. Cut it short. Again, this is so I don't have to push in too far into that hard styrofoam and possibly break if they were dry florals. Okay, so I did have this baby's breath. Now, if I try to insert this into some spots, it's just going to crack all over the place. It's going to break. It's so delicate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut like small little stems. I'm going to grab them like that. Cut them short, and then shorter even more if you have to. What I'm going to do, like see like this one, I can cut it even shorter, make two pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and just insert it somewhere where it'll catch on to something else, so it'll get glued to that. So right against this little nest here. There we go, make sure it's grabbing onto something. I can use this one here. Again, cutting it into two pieces. Putting plenty of glue around it. Inserting it up right against the greenery. So it'll glue onto that. I think some over here. 
to save that little bit. I mean, I don't want to hide it inside of my arrangement. So every little bit that I can cut off, make a little stem. There we go, like this one here. Just gonna cut off this little piece here. A little tiny piece of baby's breath, but it's usable. I'm just gonna slide it in under the nest here. It'll glue onto there. It'll rest on this greenery. So it'll dry in place right there. Alright, so I'll just keep adding some more all the way around. Okay, so I'm also tucking some little bits in some areas way down here to kind of fill in that little spot. Okay, so I have one little last piece of baby's breath and I'm going to put it in the little nest here, right here in the front, because why not? Alright everyone, so there is my arrangement, my centerpiece. I think it came out really pretty. It's so simple and lovely. Just some beautiful flowers that I happened to find at Lowe's. They are made of foam. So if you see anything like that, why not grab them? I think I paid $20 for the bunch. I've had them for quite some time and I finally decided to use them. Also, I want to ask you to please excuse my lighting. Um, I had to sit in this spot. I'm not feeling so good, but I wanted to make a video because I didn't have one last week and this week is going by. It's already Friday. So happy Memorial Day weekend to everyone. And look what a beautiful arrangement I ended up making. I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a kind comment down below. Let me know what you think of my centerpiece today and if you have any ideas or suggestions for future videos don't forget to also suggest that on the comments down below or you can visit my facebook page trisha's creations the link is down at the description box below i want to ask you if you enjoyed watching this to please subscribe if you haven't already done so of course so hit that red subscribe button down below and then of course choose all for your notifications so that you get notified as soon as i upload a video i want to thank everyone very much for supporting my channel and for sticking around with me through my <laughs> my troubled times and trying to get up videos and such and everything that's going on in my life right now Thank you all so very much. I love you all. Have a beautiful, beautiful Memorial Day weekend. And as always, enjoy.